Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Guides video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue on with RIP and we're going to see what all the information is in the show IP protocols command. So after you start up any dynamic routing protocol, whether it be RIP, EIGP, BGP, OSPF, you could always do show IP protocols on your router and that will tell you a lot of information about what you did. It's a very important troubleshooting step, it's a very important verification step to see if you did everything right. right. So for RIP you could see that up top we've got things saying no filters are set so this is something you'll do in CCNP and CCIE where you're going to set up incoming and outgoing filters to deny certain routes from coming in or going out. You can see RIP is sending updates every 30 seconds and it's nice enough to tell you when the next one is due. These are the invalid hold down and flush timers. So what happens is let's say we disable an interface between router 1 and router 2. After it hits 180 seconds the router is going to say huh I've got a problem with this route. It's something's weird. Something's possibly happening. If it hits 240 seconds, and that's a long time, that's four minutes, then that route is actually taken out of the routing table. We'll actually see that in a future video where we'll change the timers and see how that can quicken things up a bit. You can see here default version for RIP. We're sending and receiving version 2 on all of our interfaces, including the loopback. Network summarization is not in effect, so that is a, a consequence of our no auto summary command. Maximum pass 4, so if we have paths with the same hop count, we possibly may load balance over that. Shows us the networks we are routing for, which is pretty cool. And it tells us that there is another RIP router at 1.1.1. Distance 120, last update, all that good stuff. So it's pretty easy to show IP protocols. If we compare this to router 1, and if you remember correctly, router 1 we did sort of the Hail Mary way of doing the network statement. So it was network 0000. zero, zero, zero. So router 1, show IP protocols. And let's just compare how, how they look. Right? This is also an interesting troubleshooting tip. If you take your terminal windows and just put them next to each other, and you do the same command on both windows, so show IP protocols here, and show IP protocols on router 2, it's pretty easy to compare things just by looking from left to right. And you can see that everything should be the same, except here you can see routing for networks, and here it's all zeros. Routing for networks, you know, it's going to be different. Here I used two statements, and here I used one statement. On router 1, you can see it detects another RIP router at dot 2, and that's inverse, that's opposite of router 2, which detects a neighbor at dot 1. So, that was a quick and easy look at show IP protocols and the information it can tell you. Thanks for watching.